chugga 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 toot toot all aboard the Caulfield train woohoo yeah I figured hey what a perfect time to make a Cole Caulfield hype video as the guy has been a little beast since joining the Habs I mean check out that smile come on if the Beetlejuice and the Joker had a son hey it would be Cole Caulfield what a beauty and this little chihuahua with the cannon of a shot is all ours boys so let's talk some Caulfield but first if you guys are a fan of the Habs or just hockey in general or hell even a Cole Caulfield fan. Please consider subscribing to my channel as I upload hockey content daily and would really enjoy if you guys tagged along for the ride. So, I want to start things off here by taking a look at a couple of memes that were floating around social media within the last 24 hours. I mean, come on, these are great. Here's one of Eminem relating to the Habs' overtime struggles this season. <laughs> and oh yes, this is a job for you, Cole. Moving on here, and I thought this one was great as well check it out huh Corey Perry looking sharp with that beard great job with this beam uh what's his name here Apocatasis Panton oh I nailed it job well done and now look at this one huh remember the movie Willow yeah we got any viewers here that are old enough to remember this classic Woohoo! That's Warwick Davis right there, that little leprechaun, with our little bundle of joy, Cole Caulfield. Now that I have all of that out of my system, let's get down to business here, okay? Jeez! So, Caulfield tore it up at every level so far. He went damn near a goal per game in Wisconsin this season, then he signed his entry-level contract when his season with Wisconsin came to an end. This little grasshopper then goes on to put up three goals and an assist with the Laval Rocket in two games. I mean, he was basically basically the meat rocket of the Laval rocket. And Bouchard was all like, bro, this kid is too hot to handle right now. So like a hot potato, they caught this young spud up to the Habs taxi squad. Then this is where things get a little interesting. You see, they didn't have the cap room to play him. So what does Ducharme do? Well, he forces several Habs players inside an octagon. You know, some of them were underperforming players and said, I right, here's what's going to go down here, boys. You guys are going to fight until one of you is hurt. All right, it's kind of like cockfighting. Yeah, remember those? Just nasty. Except Ducharme decided, hey, let's use real NHL players here and see who wins. Basically, Suzuki went all Jackie Chan out there. Hoo-ya! And he laid a beating on these guys. Tatar and Byron, you know, they got hurt. Suzuki went on to karate chop Shea Weber's arm. Shazam! And just like that... Caulfield's in the lineup. Now, his first couple of games with the Habs, he didn't get a point, but you could tell he belonged. The kid hit the post and the crossbar a couple of times. He was shooting the puck every opportunity he had. He's just a pure shooter, and it's awesome that the Habs now have a guy like him coming up into the lineup. And remember his first game against the Flames? When he went into the zone, he was in deep, and he kind of got the puck in the corner, and then he just fired a shot that kind of handcuffed Jacob Markstrom and Markstrom was kind of looking at him like who the hell that trying that shit on me and then fast forward a bit and when the stage was at its biggest three on three overtime against the Ottawa Senators who should come out and shine but our bright little grasshopper Cole Caulfield he received an excellent pass from Jeff Petrie and boom chips in the puck and it's game over and then last night yet again just for shits and giggles Caulfield gets onto the ice again in overtime Jeff Petrie looks and says oh yeah baby it's time to put an end to this shit he gets the puck to the man, and the man, Cole Caulfield, fires a wrist shot from way out that just beats Jack Campbell. And I mean, that's a goal scorer's goal. Yeah, it is. And something I'd like to note here, it seems like Jeff Petrie has a lot of trust in this kid. I don't know if you guys noticed over the past couple of games, but Caulfield is the kind of guy, his IQ level allows him to score big goals at any level he plays. He's going to keep this up, and I'll tell you why. He just doesn't slack off and, you know, not pay attention to the play no that's not him this guy pays attention to every little thing that's going on around him and he puts himself
himself in a position where he can receive a pass and shoot the puck. When he doesn't have the puck in the offensive zone, he's consistently just moving around to get himself free. And a guy like Jeff Petrie, that's the guy who really has a high IQ right now on the blue line for the Habs. He's not Andre Markov, but he's the closest guy that they have to Andre Markov when it comes to passing out there. He's got great awareness, and I've seen him now a few times. He maneuvers around the opposition so he can go across the ice to a wide open Caulfield, and that's good to see. Maybe these guys, you know, can work on this some more in practice and get a little rhythm going down there. It's amazing to think that Caulfield is only 20 years old. He just turned 20. The kid is going to be incredible. There's no doubt in my mind, and even with a healthy lineup right now, I honestly can't see how you can sit this kid out and even let Pa Byron or even Lekkonen play over him at this point. And I know, yeah, it's tough to let guys like that sit out, but Caulfield has already proven that he's such a dangerous player. I think he's so important right now to the power play unit and... And it seems like he can play anywhere. I mean, Evans and Lekkonen, they've been playing really good of late, especially Evans. But you gotta admit, guys, Evans and Lekkonen spent the bulk of their time this season on the fourth line, right? And fighting to stay in the lineup. And Caulfield can slot in there with both of these guys, and all of a sudden, that's a freaking dangerous line. I love it! Yeah. Anyway, guys, that does it for this video. Let me know your thoughts on Cole Caulfield in the comment section. I hope you guys all enjoyed. Don't forget to smash the shit out of the like button and have yourselves a good day.